I need that. If you're new here, we're Karen and Nate. We're currently traveling through our 94th country of Ukraine. We had no Welcome idea. Welcome to Ukraine. Thank, Thank you. you. We started in the capital city of Kiev. Is that enough? Spent two days exploring the Chernobyl exclusion zone. And in our last video, we took an overnight train to the beautiful city of Lviv. After traveling around Ukraine for over two weeks, one of our favorite things about this country is the insane value that it offers for travelers. Sure, there are other places in the world that we've been to that are cheaper, but those places feel like they should be cheaper. Like when you're sitting on the side of the road on a plastic bench and you see the rats running around in the kitchen, that big bowl of noodles feels like it should cost only a dollar. We are not knocking Asian street food. It's one of our favorite things in the world. The point we're trying to make here is that it's just a different kind of cheap. We thought the best way to illustrate the value that we've been getting here in Ukraine was to show you what you could get for $100 in one day. So we got 2,500 hryvnia out of the ATM and we're gonna start with breakfast. Nate's favorite. This restaurant is called Bakzuski and it is an unlimited breakfast buffet. It's so pretty. Without a doubt, the most beautiful breakfast buffet I've ever been to. And the room itself is just gorgeous. And there's a guy playing the piano. And the champagne is included in the buffet. I'm cracking up at Nate and I's differences. My plate is all like cheese and veggies and like savory. And Nate went with all sweets and like cakey things. <laughs> he basically got dessert with some bacon. <laughs> and in addition to the buffet, they make you a fresh omelet. This is my kind of omelet. <laughs> Okay, so for an unlimited breakfast buffet with coffee, with a glass of champagne, guess how much it costs per person? Six dollars per person for all of this. That's crazy. So what time do you want to come tomorrow, Nate? <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we've come to the very middle of the city, to Town Hall. We are going to work off our brunch by climbing to the very tippy top of the clock tower. The staircase has gotten much, much smaller. Oh, we made it. One dollar and fifty cents each. My whole body just came off the ground. <laughs> that was so funny. Impressively loud. <laughs> So one of the reasons we were convinced to come to Lviv is because we've heard it is referred to as the city of coffee and chocolate. So, this place is like heaven. It smells so good in here. I can already feel myself losing all my self-control, but Nate has given me a $10 budget to spend here. Challenge accepted. I don't even know where to start. I'm overwhelmed with decisions. <laughs> our chocolate. I don't want to get demonetized. <laughs> oh, the dark? Oh, yeah. okay. I'll try one of those. This one? I'll try this one too. Wow. That was really fun. What? Uh, 200 livras you will pay at next call. Thank you so much. I was two rivnas under budget for all of this handmade chocolate. Oh. 16 beautiful Handmade truffles. A whole nother bar of chocolate. All for less than $10. <gasps> this is like a little cappuccino. Mmm. Did I pick them out well? Mmm. 
Next up, we are heading to a coffee shop, and if what I've read online is true, this will be the most interesting coffee shop that we've ever been to. Is that not the most beautiful sight you've ever seen? And the smell. I wish, I wish I could share the smell with you. Like, it is just so strong. Like, as soon as you walk in the door, it just... I could stay here the rest of the day. Could this day be any better? We just came from a chocolate shop straight to a coffee shop. So on the surface, it just looks like a really cool coffee shop, but I'm pretty sure it gets better. Yeah. Down into the... I feel like we're not supposed to go down here. I'll give it a try. Hi. Oh, sure. The cost can Thank you. I put it on. I got a construction hat from this nice man. Thank you. For color, not the I think he said go in in this way. <laughs> Where are we? You walk in, a guy gives you a hard hat, and then he literally just points. And we still have no clue what's happening. Literally, no one <laughs> has paid any attention to us. It's called the Laviv Coffee Mining Manufacturer, and I guess it's living up to the name. There's like a series of caves underneath the coffee shop. <laughs> <laughs> they, they give you hard hats for a reason. I literally just hit my head on this door coming in. What just <laughs> We'll take two please. I don't even know what they're called. <laughs> two of the ones with fire, please. What are you? Ready. 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 Oh, gosh. Wow, three dollars for a flaming coffee. I'll say I did a bunch of research on this day and I was excited about it, but everything has been way better than I expected. <laughs> because I like the accordion. Is that an accordion? Is that what that thing's called? So many street performers in La Vie. I love it. I don't know how much it's gonna cost. That's all the money, have fun. <laughs> okay, so I rarely get my nails done, but since we've been in Ukraine, I feel like I've really noticed a lot of the women here value beauty a lot. Like hair, makeup, clothes, always super cute. And they all have these beautiful manicures. So... They had no appointments for the next three days. How crazy is that? So I need to find a new nail place or I'm not getting my nails done. That was actually my third attempt. And it's in this weird like upstairs area. I don't know if I'm getting my nails done today. I honestly don't even know where I am anymore. Nate is usually the maps guy. Ooh, maybe I'll do some shopping. Hey, I don't think I'm getting my nails done today. <laughs> also, can you send me our address? I, I'm kind of lost. So the number five thing to do in Lviv is visit a cemetery, which sounds kind of weird, but it does give us an excuse to get outside of the city center and ride one of these really old trams. So we're gonna head there now. According to Google Maps, we are waiting on tram number one. For two. 20 cents to ride as far as you want to. That was fun. 
All right, so a few interesting facts. It cost about $1.50 to get in. It was started in the 1700s. Over 300,000 people are buried here, and it is the largest cemetery in Ukraine. And probably the most beautiful we've ever seen. Some of the tombstones are massive. Like, they're like a whole house. Like, bigger than the house that we slept in in Switzerland. <laughs> they really take their tombstones seriously here. We don't make it a point of going to cemeteries during our travels, but when they're number five on TripAdvisor, it's a really nice place to walk around, super quiet. We just rode about 25 minutes across town and it cost 66 rivna. We just paid 75 rivna each to enter the Beer Cultural Experience Center. I think it's kind of like a beer museum. 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 <laughs> I never it's learned cute. to say that word correctly. Beer was first mentioned in the ancient Sumer. Who doesn't love a cold beer in the hot Sumer? <laughs> so we just learned about the history of beer pretty much since the beginning of time. And apparently they used to always drink beer out of straws originally, but then they realized that that was really bad for the environment. So the Assyrians started filtering it finally. <laughs> I'm just joking. Ooh. So the tasting wasn't included in the ticket price, but it was less than $2. It included four beers, which I thought it was gonna be like a sip of four beers, but that's like four full beers for less than $2. So we thought we'd try all eight. <laughs> now I have way too much beer. grocery store and I'm probably gonna get kicked out for filming in here but I wanted to show you how affordable everything is in here. A whole loaf of bread, half a watermelon, a dozen eggs, over a liter of beer. <laughs> Darn it, she caught me. There is an entire aisle of bottles of vodka that are so cheap. It's crazy. In a tiny grocery store. For our last stop of the night, we are heading to dinner at what one blog called the most visited restaurant in all of Europe. We are just as skeptical as you are. Especially considering it requires a password. There's a huge line. It's not so secret. People are just rolling out of here. No photo, no photo, no photo. And not in the restaurant? No, no, no. No? It's too secret, he wouldn't let us bring the camera in. <laughs> He was serious. Did you get the password right? <laughs> I was just like, him, 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 him. <laughs> I knew it started with a G and the second word started with an S and I said Greena Slava. <laughs> but I don't know if that was right. And he was like, Meh. And then he saw Nate and he went, no. Yeah, I closed the door real fast. That was crazy. Okay, plan B. So like, I want to eat there. I don't know what that is. But yeah, we wouldn't be able to. It's quite the experience, it's an experience. let me tell you. They may march some prisoners by you and shoot them. You have to okay. declare glory to Ukraine yeah. to get in. Yeah. We were literally <laughs> walking away when those people came out raving about their experience. He was like, best experience ever. <laughs> so. And now we have to go. Taking the camera back to the apartment. <laughs> Sorry. First, we were greeted by the same angry man holding a gun who asked for the secret password. And then, once we got in, he poured us a mystery shot out of an army canteen and made us drink it before we went downstairs. There were four cups. I'm pretty sure everybody in the restaurant uses the same four cups. I don't want to think about that. We had a great time. Dinner and drinks was $21, which I'm pretty sure brings our daily total to like roughly we were trying to spend money. Long story short, you get incredible value for your money in Lviv. <laughs> it's like a beautiful, flowy chocolate waterfall. Coming out of the wall. Don't worry. Nope. <laughs> I don't know how you're supposed to read the menu in here. 